Hello everybody, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to download documents from DocuSign so that you can go over them in person or on a Zoom meeting with your clients before they fill everything out and sign it, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we will get started. So the first step to do will be go to DocuSign login on Google and then you will click login. Once you pull this up, you're gonna sign into DocuSign. And then once you open up DocuSign, we're actually going to go to the top right and switch it to the DocuSign rooms. Because remember, when you first open up DocuSign, it's gonna have you in this screen, which is your e-signature. So go up to your initials, switch to rooms. So this will open up your rooms in DocuSign. From here, we're going to find the room that you've created. If you haven't created a room yet, no problem. You can create one now. Um, however, obviously I always recommend start and command first so that way it connects with DocuSign. And when you do it that way, it creates the room for you in DocuSign. In this case, I've already created my room in opportunities in command first. So here's the room that I um, have that is connected to command. We're gonna go to the test room, okay? So once you're in the correct room, we're gonna go to documents. Once you're here, you're going to go up to the blue plus sign at the top right of the corner. We're gonna click add DocuSign forms. So from here, you wanna make sure you select Texas Association of Realtors, and then you'll have your whole list of documents here, okay? So scroll through here, or you can just go up here and start typing, and it will pull up what you are looking for, okay? So let me do, I'm just gonna do one to four family contract. And also, just so you know, you can choose multiple documents. Let's say we wanted to select that one and also the residential buyer tenant re uh, representation agreement. We can select both of those and add selected. So you can select multiple at one time. Once you've added them to your room, you'll scroll down and find the two documents or however many you just put in your room. And you'll see both of them right here. So you'll click on the, um, the middle of the document and that's going to open it up. And you'll see automatically that there's information that's gonna auto-populate on here. Whatever you have in your details section of your room is gonna auto-populate in here. Now, if you're wanting it completely blank for some reason, you can go in here and delete all these before you download it. Um, however, for the sake of this example, let's just say this is exactly how I want it to download for my presentation. So I would just go up here to this document actions button and click download. So now you will see right down here or wherever downloads go on your computer, you'll see that it has downloaded and the only information that's filled in is what auto populated through my details section in my DocuSign. And once again, if you wanted it to be blank, just go in there and delete those auto-populated fields and your contract will be blank, okay? And so from here, when you're on your Zoom call, you can pull this up and go over it with them on the call um, or print it out and face-to-face -face discuss everything and then hand write everything in there, okay? If y'all ever have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip today. Have a great day. Bye.